everyone. Welcome in the secret place with your Pastor Yati. I hope all is well with all of you. And it's Friday, close to the weekend. I hope that you find in this weekend new things to do, something that maybe it's a long time you did it or really something new that pops up in your weekend. So may it be creative. We are in Psalm 9 and the key verse of this psalm is I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Verse 1 and 2 in Psalm 9. God will judge the nations. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right and my cause, sitting enthroned as the righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord and throned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenged blood remembers he does not ignore the cries of the afflict. Lord, See how my enemies persecuted me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug, Their facts are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of thy hands. The wicked go down in the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy, the hope of the afflicted, will never perish. Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. I often quote the passage from Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 that says one day every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The reality is that everyone will acknowledge the Lordship of Christ but for many it will be in judgment. 
for they never believed on him as Lord and Savior. This psalm portrays the judgment of the nations that reject God. It is written as a reflection on the enemies who had already been defeated and peoples who had been subdued in David's reign. But it is also a prophetic passage reflecting the sovereignty of God in judging the nations. God has not relinquished his throne no matter how strongly world events spin out of control in chaos. And totalitarian authorities subject believers to persecution. Those who reject God and stand in opposition to him will stumble and perish. They will be turned back. God will rebuke the nations, destroy the wicked, and blot out their name. Their city will be uprooted. They will come to an end in perpetual ruin, and even the memory of them will perish. This is because God sits on his throne and will judge righteously. He is everlasting, abides forever, and will execute judgment for the peoples with equity. And the standard of equity by which all will be judged will be their relationship to Christ. Romans 2.16 refers to the day when, according to my gospel, God will judge the secrets of man through Christ Jesus. So the nations will be snared in their own trap of sin. Rather than yielding in submission to God, they will be caught in the pit they have made to punish and subdue others, that of exalting their own supposed power and authority. They are nothing but men, and the Lord will prevail. But for us who believe and follow God, He is our stronghold. The image of a massive, impenetrable fortress comes to mind. Though we may feel oppressed and go through times of trouble, we know the Lord. We can call upon his name as one we know intimately, and he will not forsake us. We are conditioned in such time of turmoil and confusion to seek the Lord rather than succumb to the pressures and attacks of the enemy. He does not forget us. He is gracious and lifts us up. And therefore, we will give thanks with all our hearts and be glad in him. We will sing his praises, but also tell of other wonders of his and declare his deeds among the peoples. We should not delight in their judgment and assurance of vindication from the Lord. We should desire that all nations would recognize and fear the Lord. Pray with me. Lord, I praise you with my whole heart. And thank you that you are my stronghold in times of trouble, pressures, temptations, criticism, and attacks. I will declare your deeds and tell of your wonders, for you are sovereign over the nations. You will judge those who do not know you, and I need not fear the afflictions of the wicked. God will judge the nations. My dear sisters and brothers, you and I have to give all what is in within us to worship the Lord in words and in deeds and that the world may see that he is God and reigns in all his authority because he is our creator. 
take this with you and ponder on it. God bless you. May you find peace within. Bye.